Hello, my name is Marie, and today I will be discussing another topic. But first, we have to check what's in the picture. Okay, let's take a look at this. What can you say about this picture? You notice that there are a lot of people. So in the caption, it says, People on a crowded boat await rescue off the coast of Indonesia on May 20th. 2015. Okay, before we start with this article, I have a few warm up questions. Okay, let's start with this. Why do people flee Burma? Okay, the next is what is a Rohingya? Okay, the third is, how many Rohingya are there in the world? Okay, we are going to find out what Rohingya means. Okay, let's go back to this article. Okay, no place to go. Thousands of people are fleeing Burma. No country wants to take them in. Okay, we are going to find out why. For three and a half months, Atar Rahman's boat drifted across the Bay of Bengal to the Andaman Sea. He was one more than 400 people fleeing persecution in Burma and poverty in Bangladesh. Atar Rahman is a Rohingya. The Rohingya are a Muslim ethnic minority who live in West Burma. They are not considered Burmese citizens. Children cannot go to school. The sick are not treated in hospitals. The government defines full citizens as members of ethnic groups that settled in Burma before 1823. It considers the Rohingya illegal immigrants from Bangladesh and refers to them as Bengalis. The Rohingyas say their ancestors settled in Burma as far back as the 18th century. The United Nations call Burma's 1.3 million Rohingya one of the world's most persecuted minorities. Since 2012, attacks on Rohingya have left 280 people dead and forced 140,000 others from their homes and into crowded camps. An estimated 100,000 Rohingya have fled Burma. They are looking for shelter in neighboring countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. But those countries do not want to take them in. They cannot be flooding our shores, Malaysian Deputy Home Minister Wan Junaidi Jafar said in May 2015. Thailand's Prime Minister Prith Chanocha said his government does not have the resources to accept the refugees. If we take them all in, then anyone who wants to come will come freely, he said. Under international pressure, Indonesia and Malaysia have agreed to give temporary shelter to thousands of Rohingya. The U.S. has said it is willing to take some refugees as well. Burma insists it will not change its policy toward the Rohingya. Until it does, families will be boarding rickety boats in search of freedom. This is by Glenn Greenberg with Time and AP Reporting. Think. Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai says the Rohingya should be citizens. Do you agree? Okay, I have a few vocabulary words. The first is immigrant okay meaning a person who moves to a foreign country to live there permanently example there are many per persecuted minorities in this world okay, the second word is persecution the act of persecuting example kings used to ordain the persecution of many people a long time ago 
Okay, so we already finished with the article. Okay, I have a few questions. Would you take in Rohingya in your own country? Maybe you will. Should you consider Rohingya as citizens? Of course, they are still people. Anyway, that's all for today. My name is Marie. Thank you for listening. I have to say goodbye now. Thank you. Bye.